Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. I've got with me Max from Cocktail and Sons. I got eight around the corner. We're in a very small little bar in New Orleans called, what is it, El Libre? El yeah, Libre. El Libre, the life? Yeah, it's a, it's a uh, Brazilian thing. Ernest Hemingway bar. Oh. Our Cuban Ernest, Ernest Hemingway style bar. That's cool. So if you, a photo back there. If you go, oh, yeah. Park's it. If you're ever in the neighborhood, just to, you should drop by because it's not obvious. I would no, say. Not so, but you know what? Google Maps solves all those problems. You type LD <laughs> right, and that's how we got here. So, we did it, you can do it. What I wanted to do is kind of go through Cocktail and Sons with Max. I have a vested interest in, in all this information since awesomedrinks.com sells the products as well. Um, but I think it's good to know the history, the understanding of how you got here. Um, we've been doing this week a lot of interviews with people that are just like, they're all smaller brands and the struggles and like, you know, how hard is it to make the labels? How do you do your scale? How do you do like all that stuff? So it's interesting information on top of the tasting. Uh, so I guess I would like to know first how you started, like what, what made this happen? My wife and I are bartenders by trade, doing it uh, San Francisco, New York, New Orleans. Uh, about two years ago, we started looking at the marketplace side uh, there was a lot of simple syrups, a lot of uh, RTDs, rated drinks. You can just put this old fashioned mix into bourbon and it's an old fashioned. We found there was no uh, component syrups, such as key ingredients for classic drinks. Right. Okay? So I'll actually walk through the core four and talk to you about why each of these serves as a component for a classic cocktail that you enjoy at your own uh, home bar or at a bar restaurant near you. All right. Okay. Sounds good. So, first off, we have our spice demerara syrup. Our spice stem, uh, Demerara, it's built for old fashions and for Sazeracs, bird milk punches. Uh, it's designed, uh, we do Szechuan and white peppercorns, toasted and crushed, coriander, allspice, toasted and crushed, birch leaf, wild cherry bark, uh, orange peels, and birch leaf. So that's like everything all in one. It's a complex syrup for very simple, beautiful old fashioned. This bottle will get you about 20 or 30 old fashioned out of it. Lasts for about six, eight months in the fridge after you open it up. And he's serious about the lasting period because yeah. like when I email him and I'm like, hey, um, I've got the syrup that I've had for like nine, maybe two years, maybe <laughs> nine months, I don't know. He's like, throw it away, get a new one. Like you like to, you like to have it at We like it as fresh as possible. Right. Yeah. Which is different. So we like it as, as sweet and savory. Right. So you basically just need a glass full of ice, Two ounces of your favorite spirit, be it bourbon, be it rye, be it mezcal, a quarter ounce of it, of the syrup, half a dash of bitters, you're all set. Is there clove in there? Uh, the allspice and the Szechuan are what kind of a clovey finish to it. I love allspice. Yes. Allspice, allspice is the fav my favorite spice, I'm like excited. We found, out, we found out we just toasted the allspice and the coriander, the peppercorns, and then crushed them. We toasted, we toasted the Cinnamon bark, cassia bark, it just tastes like cinnamon. Oh, really? So we just let it steep and get a little bit of that beautiful Yeah, cinnamon overpowers. And you know what the funny thing is, I've noticed because I've been making my own bitters, the cinnamon doesn't overpower it for like a week and a half, two yes. weeks. Exactly. And then all of a sudden it just goes And I have this nice cherry bitter component, and the cherry's gone now, it just like, tastes like cinnamon. So you've learned on this. Yeah. Trial and error. <laughs> <laughs> our second one is our oleo saccharin. The name refers to a process bartenders used back in the day, the Jerry Thomas guys, all the old school guys, to make a punch. Right. We do citrus peels placed with sugar, and that actually pulls the oils out of the peels. Do a fresh cut lemongrass, toasted cardamom, and ginger tea with it. So we actually, in the process, we found we needed to actually peel all the fruit. Yeah. Just because we can't do oils, we get the fruit out, vacuum bags, and then we actually have to steep for a certain amount of days. Magic. <laughs> so we built it for Collins, the style of cocktail with lemon juice and plum soda and base it's spirit. Kind of like a lemon citrusy thing, but yeah. it's not any one citrus. It just tastes like citrus. It doesn't taste like lemon. Yeah, it's very integrated. That's what the lemon grass. But we found by accident that it works awesomely with daiquiris. I can see that. So it has that this viscosity, that gum syrup, that heaviness yeah. that you get from daiquiris as they were going. See, now that one kind of has a Christmas flavor. This one has definitely more of a citrus drive. This is thicker. Yeah. I don't know if that's by you. But the level of sugar, yeah, there's more raw than white. There's more white than raw. But each of these has more sugar than raw. So it's so, just it's just on viscosity is based upon the type so you of sugar. Don't add, you don't add, uh, like, a gum. No, gum, I reckon. It's all natural. Yeah. 
Our mint verbena syrup, mint has a long history with verbena and juleps, so we thought about just pairing those together. We do a triple brewing process with the verbena first, then we drop in the peppermint and the spearmint on top of it, and then we drop in a little wormwood on the back end. Wormwood? Yeah, wormwood. Uh, when you bite into mint, you get that big burst of the mint oil in the yeah. nose, and you get this woody kind of after effect to it. We really want to capture that. Also, a lot of mint syrups, people complain that they are uh, artificial. Yeah. They have that weird ting at the middle of it. And you're like, nah. And we wanted to do it we, as, a, as a brewing process with the, uh, the dry uh, mint. It gets a more natural, more brightness to it. You know what the first thing I think of? What's that? Pipe tobacco. Exactly. Yeah. But I don't know why that is, but it has like a, a the, like that luscious, like flowery or aromatic pipe tobacco. Uh, the honeysuckle peppercorn, we built it for agave products. Uh, Tommy's Margaritas, or Tommy's Restaurant in San Francisco, started the agave uh, syrup craze about 10 years ago. Yeah. yeah. So we want to do the same thing, but make a more complex, beautiful, sugar-based syrup that is with um, toasted green peppercorns, toasted smoked black peppercorns, honeysuckle, and sage. So all you need is basically, you need a, cause sage for me is like Mexico, uh, the smell of it, the taste of it. And also I find that um, you have the smoke black and the mezcal, big fire, citrus floral in the nose, beautiful maltiness in the middle, big spice. Oh yeah, but it's coming in later, like the spices. Yeah. So it's the same while. when you have the long tequilas, citrus floral in the nose, it's big really spice. Yeah, that's really good. It's not as sweet. Yeah. It doesn't feel as sweet, but it, it has a lot of very different flavor to it. But I like I say peppercorn. I guess you get peppercorn, but it's just like a, it doesn't taste like just biting a peppercorn. It's yeah. a little I don't know, timid, but it's not as not as hot. We had to balance out, and we found the green was very vegetal. The yeah. smoke black very bright, very hot yeah. smoke. So that's the core four, and we basically built these for mezcals, whiskey sours, mint. These for mojitos, juleps, south side smashes. Oleo saffron plays really well with vodka and gins and rums. And then the uh, spice comes from aged spirits. So you do the you know, nice aged rum, rum and bourbons, rides. So, yeah, when I think of Demerara, I always think rum for some reason. But it, it does add like a, it's a little little bit more character than just white sugar. Correct, yeah. It has a, it's a much more rich viscosity to it.